class is headed to Leesburg, Alabama. We're going to tour the Wass Hydroelectric Dam. A person from Alabama Power will be there to meet us and show us how they use the water to generate electricity. We're going to show you all of that. We're also going to tell you about a great energy savings program that our school system implemented three years ago. Well, let's get on the bus. We're headed to Leesburg, Alabama. This is Shane Nelson from Alabama Power. He'll be giving us a tour of the dam. Mr. Nelson, when was this dam built? Uh, the dam was scheduled to start generation in 1961, but due to some delays, I believe it was 1964 when it was actually put in commission. Is this dam the only power source for the residents of Cherokee County? Actually, no, it's not a pri It's not even actually a primary power source for Cherokee County. Cherokee County actually gets the majority of its power from TBA. We're actually more of like a, uh, a connection between like Georgia Power and Alabama Power. That's, that's really probably what we do more than anything as far as the power generation. Dan, this is a good time to tell you about that energy saving program I mentioned earlier. We've interviewed a couple of people to find out just how this program works. I'm pleased to have with me the energy specialist for Cherokee County, former football coach Russell Jacobway. Thank you. Good to be here today at Spring Garden. Coach, how did you get to be the Cherokee County School Energy Specialist? Well, I had been in coaching for 37 years and the last 32 at Sand Rock and uh, they had uh, sent out an email that there was going to be a meeting and that Synergistic had uh, signed a contract with the school system uh, to start an energy conservation program and it kind of interested me and I, I went to the meeting and didn't think a lot about it and got invited to interview and still didn't think a lot about it. The next thing I knew that they offered me the job. I had not planned to retire but this job really interested me and uh, so that's kind of how it came about. I, I took the job and I guess the rest is history. And how well would you say that the employees of Cherokee County Schools have bought into this program since they are the ones that have to follow the synergistic guidelines in order for the program to be successful? It's, it's been great. There was maybe a little hesitation at the very beginning, but I think now they see the benefits to the school system this. Administration has been great to support the program, and we have a lot of, a lot of our faculty now will actually go through the schools and we have shutdowns and, and kind of... Uh, check before I come in to make sure that everything's been shut down. 
and I get a lot of questions, email, text messages about things, and uh, uh, so I, I would say the buy-in's been great in our system. Thanks, Coach. We really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. You're welcome. Good to be here. I have with me the superintendent of Cherokee County Schools, Mitchell Goss. Mr. Goss, exactly how much money has our system saved since partnering with Synergistic? Today, we've saved a little over a million dollars. And how much energy savings money has the system been able to return to the schools? Today, we've returned a little over 95% of the money saved to the schools. Initially, going in and talks with Synergistic, they were looking at with other school systems they were working with, 25 to 50 percent of the savings going back to the schools. I wanted us to be able to get more money back into our schools than that because really we didn't have that much local money to put in the schools and we had so many projects at all of our schools that needed to be addressed. A big part of the savings that we have had wasn't money that was returned to anyone. It's money that we've saved on repairs to our heating and cooling system simply because we're not running the units as much as we used to. We don't have the breakdowns in the system that we used to and our maintenance department isn't having to go out and make the repairs to all the different units as often as they were. Moving forward, we hope to get even more money to the schools so that we can have more projects going in. And thank you so much today for joining us, Mr. Goss. Thank you. Appreciate being here. Okay, now we're in Spring Garden Principal Mike Welch's office. Mr. Welch, what have we been doing with all the extra energy savings money we get every year? We've been able to do several projects. Uh, I can think of, of a few. We, we bought bleachers for the baseball and softball fields. Uh, we were able to put in the new floor covering in, in our hallway here in the high school hall. Uh, we've done some general maintenance projects, uh, painting, and we've been able to purchase a mower uh, for the school grounds as well as a new wet dry vac, things like that. Most recently, one of the big projects that we've done has been able to add our new student services area, which included a new counselor's office as well as a new nurse's station. So that's been a blessing. Thank you. You're welcome. So today we learned how to generate energy. And we also learned how our school system is conserving energy. It's time to eat. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.
learned a lot about the dam generators. Nice and. <laughs>